supporters of the coach's desk. It's another edition from your host, Coach Minzy. And yes, we'll be talking about track and field today. Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association election and AGM. Now, viewers and subscribers, track and field fans out there in the diaspora and locally, Garth Gale is the new president of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, more commonly known as the J3As. He defeated Olympian Donald Quarry, who was also vying for the position of the J3 boss. It was a massive landslide, people. It was a massive landslide victory for Gail, who has been the honorary secretary for more than two decades, a wealth of experience Garth Gail brought into this election. Gail, who is currently the principal of Charlemont High School in Linstead and a member of the technical committee of the World Athletics between 2016 and 2019, in his manifesto had a strategic outlook on four core pillars of transformation. We'll be sharing those four pillars of transformation later on. We understand viewers and subscribers that Garth Gale amassed 236 votes to Olympian Donald Quarry, a meager 28 votes. And that's why we said earlier, it was a massive landslide victory. It was like a city block victory for Garth Gale, the new boss in town, the new J3 boss. Now, this election came about because Dr. Warren Blake, past president, said that he did not have any intention to run for the post. So the Honorary Secretary Garth Gale places hat in the race. And it was initially thought that it was going to be an a easy victory for Garth Gale uncontested victory. However, the man, 200 meter champion, sprinter, Olympian, Donald Quarry, he threw his hat into the race and he managed to get out some votes. However, Donald Quarry, affectionately called DQ, was DQ by Garth Gale. <laughs> uh, viewers and subscribers, just a little humor there. Now, there were uh, two other contested posts uh, at the J3's election, of course, and also we said that they had their uh, AGM, annual general meeting. Now, Marie Tavares, who was the J3's assistant secretary, and a member of our uh, management team, so several national, junior, and senior teams went up against the one Anthony Davis, an independent person there for the post of honorary secretary. And in the end, it was Marie Tavares, people, Chuck and Phil fans, that came out on top. She picked up 210 votes to Davis. 50 vote, votes. So that was another landslide victory there in the, in, in, in the election. Marie Tavares dismissed Anthony Davis for the position of honorary secretary. Another top post that was contested, viewers and subscribers, was the position of director of records. Result in the, it, it was one of the closest um contest in terms of vote tally of the day because one Leroy Cook defeating Wayne Long on the run boss who is an independent he amassed 135 votes 
that's Leroy Cook, 135 votes, to Long's, 121 votes. So it was a close contest there in that hot seat. But of course, the result went to Cook. So there's going to be a new 17-member J3 executive because all positions have been decided. We'll be sharing those positions to you in a short while. Now, Gail campaigns for core, um, it actually focuses on financial optimization and sustainability. Listen, people, you are going to be the ones who will be holding Garth Gill accountable for this four core, four, um, four core um, thing that he, he manifested that he revealed. So people are going to be looking at Leeds track and field fans are going to be looking on to see what Garth Gale bring to the table with his manifesto. He also spoke about marketing brand development. He's going to market the sport. Hmm. Inclusion and governance structure. I don't want to shred those out. I don't know what Garth Gale have behind all this that he said. I could do a, 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 a little shredding out or, or try to decipher what he's saying, but I'm not going to touch it. He also mentioned human capital development. People, this is Garth Gale manifesto. It, it is out there in the public. He's now the new J3 boss. Big man in sport. Chuck and Phil, one of the biggest sports in Jamaica. He will be held accountable by this four core manifesto that he placed out there in the public. So, people, let us look at now, finally, the positions for the 17-member J3 committee that will be leading the country in one of our top sports, if not the uh, most popular sport in Jamaica, track and field. Now, of course, we made mention of Garth Gale being president. You have Marie Tavares, honorary secretary. Leroy Cook, director of records. Ian Forbes, first vice president. Lincoln Eatman, second vice president. Michael Freta, the man that formed his new track club recently. Third vice president, Vilma Charlton, Olympian. Fourth vice president, Ludlow Watts, treasurer. Years of service to the J3. Brian Smith, assistant secretary. Keith Wellington, committee member. These are the committee members that I'm going to be listing right now. You have Helene Francis, committee member. You have Juliet Parks Livermore, Ewan Scott. Judith Ewart, Frederick Dakers, Carl Bruce, and Gregory Hamilton. These are the individuals that will make up the new team of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association going forward. Will they bring something different? Will they bring what they say that they're going to bring to ensure that Jamaica's track and field remain a force to be reckoned with? Will they bring the marketing brand development that they mentioned will they bring good governance and structure would they sort out the human capital de development will they look at the financial optimization and the sustainability let's see well, look on this team you know, people viewers and subscribers i recognize that it's the same set of folks these are the same individuals who have been a part of Jamaica's track and field leadership for years. I made mention of what the president uh, mentioned in his manifesto. But are we going to see a difference? Are we going to see the junior programs being developed? Are we going to see more athletes getting assistance? 
is this team going to be bringing something new, something different? Because it's the same old folks. And when I say old people, I'm not talking about age. It's the same folks that have been on different slates or under different leadership. Are they going to be bringing something different? It, to me, it's like the same book, but it's a different page. But we have to give them a fair chance, people. Let us observe. Let us watch and hold them accountable by the manifesto that they would have, would have, would have set out. We have, to, we have to ensure that they carry out what they say that they're going to do. I believe that there is a level of competency in this team but do they have the know-how to do the work to get things done let's see viewers and subscribers thank you again for tuning in, tuning in to the coaches desk thank you for the support road to 1000 subscribers still on definitely thank you for sharing thank you for liking thank you for subscribing if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button Hit the notification bell so when we drop these new videos, you will be notified. Thanks much for tuning again to the coach's desk. I'm out.